commercial for Lords and Partner in which two songs were used. Apparently neither of these songs were cleared for commercial license. Ooh. Which meant that these songs were pirated for commercial gain with the yeah. endorsement of a crown oh, minister. There ought to be a law. So it's not just a question of copyright, <laughs> it's a question of ethics. So my question is, doesn't the government understand that having a ShamWow minister in the role of the Minister of Industry undermines what little credibility this government has on key files? <laughs> serious part of the question, which is we're very proud to, to announce that we've tabled Bill C-32, Canada's efforts to modernize yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Speaker, this, uh, this is important legislation. It means jobs, it means protecting consumers, and it means modernizing Canada's copyright legislation that is long overdue, Mr. Speaker. And this has been widely uh, well-received by a, a broad cross-section of groups across the country. And as my colleague who might be interested to know, the Canadian Independent Music Association said, quote, thank you for protecting the rights of artists to earn a living from their work. This is in the best interest of all Canadians, Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Billy. Well, Mr. Speaker, I am concerned that another minister doesn't know the difference between right and wrong. Ooh. This is a government that promised to do things differently. Now, let's look at the G8. Canadians are justifiably outraged that our tax dollars are being blown through like drunken sailors on a binge. And now we know where the money's going. The industry minister has been siphoning off money to build gazebos at rural intersections in his riding under the pretense of G8 infrastructure. Whoa. Will the minister explain why the billion dollar boondoggle is picking up the tab for pork barrel projects for Sham Wow Tony? Here, here. The Honourable Minister of Transport. Mr. Speaker, it won't, uh, it won't surprise uh, the member opposite that I don't agree with the premise of his question. But we have literally thousands of journalists and thousands of delegates from around the world visiting one of the most beautiful places in Canada, the Muskoka region. Uh, they will fan out uh, the entire region, not just in Huntsville. Uh, we are spending uh, some resources on public infrastructure uh, to help spruce the area up so that a beautiful part of Canada will be that much nicer. Here.